Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at YouTube Studio, and if you wanna see future content that can help you create your freedom and learn how to make money doing something that you enjoy, consider clicking that subscribe button, ringing the bell so you're alerted to future content. All right, let's jump into YouTube Studio. I'm gonna walk you through step by step and help you to learn all the features so you can be more productive and more successful here on YouTube. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to your YouTube channel. Here we are on my channel and you'll notice there's a couple navigation buttons in the upper right hand corner. Now, YouTube has undergone some changes recently so some things look a little bit different. So it's important for you to understand those changes so you can find them and be able to do everything you need to do to help your channel succeed. So looking at this main page, we will see some differences up here in the right hand corner. They've kind of changed the look and feel of these buttons. You'll notice that they're kind of rounded now. They're kind of bubble or pill shaped buttons here. And you'll see that there is a customized channel manage videos. Those two are normal. And then there's also a join option. Now, depending on the channel that you're viewing, you may or may not see the join option. Join is for memberships. Uh, so if you have memberships, this is something that's going to be visible on your channel. But today we are concerned with YouTube Studio. You can get into YouTube Studio by clicking either uh, customize channel or manage videos. We're just gonna click on manage videos just to head into the back end of YouTube, which of course is YouTube Studio. All right, so when you click on manage videos, it's gonna bring you to the video section, but we're gonna get things started off by heading over to the dashboard. Once you're on your dashboard, we are going to look over here on the left-hand side. This is your menu option. This is where you're going to be able to get into all the different sections. Let's click on content and check out that section. All right, so the content section is gonna show you a variety of information related to the actual videos and other content on your channel. As you can see here at the top of the section, they have it split up into a couple different categories. Uh, you'll notice that over time, they've changed the main section from videos to content because there is a, some additional content that you're now able to share. Uh, a lot of it is videos, but not all of it. So we have videos here, we have your live streams, we have any posts that you've made to your community tab, and then we have stories if you have any recent ones. So that is where you'll find those. We're gonna click back to videos. That's what we're gonna focus on here to begin with. You'll notice that you have all your videos in here uh, that you have done on the channel. Now they are going to default based on when they were uploaded. So they're up uh, by date, but you can click on any one of the topics or the, the top of these to uh, sort them by that category. So in this case, we've sorted by uh, views. So we see our most viewed video here on the channel. So you can do this for some of the categories. It really depends on the particular uh, column and whether it makes sense. You'll see here it exists for views, but when you hover over comments, you don't get the arrow. But date, of course, you get the little the little hand so you can sort that. And then if you click on the arrow itself, that's going to allow you to sort it in either direction. So uh, we have that for views and date restrictions. You're not going to be able to see it visibility. So those two allow you to sort the entire column by that information. All right. So when we look at any of these videos, you'll see you have these little icons below the video when you hover over it. So the default view is your title and the description. When you hover over it, you see these different options. Now, in addition to the ones that are most prevalent here, you also have the three dots, which gives you uh, some more things that you can do. But let's take a look at some of these. The little pencil is your edit button. That's how you're gonna go in and make changes to a given video. This is going to bring you to the video details, uh, which of course allows you to edit your title and description and your thumbnail. So if you need to make a change on a thumbnail that's already been uploaded, this is actually where you do it. You can come down here, click on these three options and change your thumbnail. So it's also going to show you some still prints from the video where you can grab one of those and use those if you want to. This is where you're going to be able to edit your description as well. Uh, and then you have some additional features down here, adding to playlists, whether or not your content is made for kids, make sure you answer that accurately. And then whether or not it includes paid promotion. Now paid promotion is if you have a sponsor uh, and then you would click, you know, yes, it does include paid promotion and uh, that allows them to, to uh, make that designation in the video that it includes a paid promotion. Over here on the right, this is a kind of a, something that comes up a lot with videos and that you should be aware of. Uh, a lot of times people like, I uploaded a video in HD quality, but it's not showing HD quality. And this is, this is where we can see more information on that. So first we have the link. This is the link uh, to your video directly as published. You can click this button to copy that link and then you can share that link with anybody that you want. Uh, down here, you see the file name. 
uh, of less importance. And then you see video quality. So the way YouTube works, when you upload a video to YouTube, it automatically uh, processes it in uh, tiered quality levels. So in order to get your video up and visible faster, they will process your video in standard definition first. That happens fairly quickly. It's the what you see immediately after the video becomes available to publish. Uh, and then uh, it will be out there for everybody to see. The problem is it may not be in the highest quality or the quality may not match what you uploaded. The reason for that is because it is uploading or it is processing your video for the next tier of quality. In this case, this is a, an HD video. Uh, so what you'll typically see here is if it is processing one of these, that little icon will be blinking. Uh, and then you can see whether or not it is still processing the uh, video for that particular quality. So um, unless they've changed this, I don't think they have, but uh, it's possible. The important thing to ref to know is whichever icon you see here that's solid and visible, that is the quality that it's at right now. If there is a quality tier above that, they are still processing it in the background and then they will seamlessly replace the video with the higher quality as soon as that video has done processing. Uh, so that is just something important to know. If the quality doesn't look like what you expect, just understand that it takes a little time uh, for that to happen. Now, this is where the visibility is for your video. Uh, of course, this is a published video. If for some reason you wanted to take a video down or you had to hide it, you can come in here and set this to private, unlisted, or, or even members only. Um, that's where you would do that. You have uh, subtitle options in here, end screens, subtitles. Here you can go in and add subtitles to your videos. We're not gonna dive super deep into that, but there's a variety of different ways you can get subtitles. You can have uh, YouTube do it automatically, and there's third-party services that will subtitle your videos or do closed captioning as well. You have end screens here. This should bring you into the edit area, which it does. Uh, and then you can see down here, we're going to go into that in a little more detail here in a moment. So uh, we will skip out of here for now. And then we will look, uh, we have cards here, cards you can place, they pop up in the, the top of your videos. So if you say, hey, check out this video I did on XYZ, you can have a little pop up in the upper, uh, it's actually, I think it's up here. Um, yeah, right up here. <laughs> this is where you're going to see that, but it'll pop up as a little banner. If somebody hovers over it, then it pulls down a video. It shows them the thumbnail and allows them to do that. So if you're like, hey, I did a video on this particular section in more detail, go ahead and click on it up here. That's going to give you the information you need to do that. So again, this is bringing you into the editor, which we're going to cover here in a little more detail uh, a little bit later. And then you have uh, products. Now, if you have Product offerings, you can add those here as well. Uh, YouTube does work with, I think it's like Spreadshirt, now Shopify, uh, and um, I believe there's a third one that escapes me, but you can actually add products to your, your video page as well. But that is just the first section here uh, in terms of the details of your videos. Then we have analytics. Analytics is just a whole can of worms. There's all kinds of information that you can see in here um, that may be helpful to you. We're going to do kind of a high level look at some of these things, but no. So you have your average view duration, you have your average percentage viewed here, and then you have details down here uh, in terms of where people um, were watching longer, where they fell off. Like this video is interesting uh, because it actually has a 126 percent. That means people were watching the beginning of this video a couple times. So that's a, a pretty decent response. And then this one had, you know, people were still watching two minutes and 30 seconds into the video. So uh, that was uh, pretty good as well. Uh, here, you're also going to be able to click on each one of these columns to see more information about the video and, and revenue and all that uh, information as well. And you'll notice that all these default to the last 28 days. At any time, you can come in here. You can change it since uploaded is the lifetime of the video. So you can uh, click on that. And then all of the stuff that you're seeing on this screen is going to be reflective of that date range that you add up here. So that's helpful to know also. Up at the top here, you have different sections of reach, engagement, and audience, and revenue. They're going to give you more details about each of these sections. So you can dig in there and play around depending on the information that you're looking for. Just know that there is a bunch of information in there. Now, the editor, 
and I have other videos that go deeper into editing and how to, to make all of uh, the changes that YouTube allows. The biggest thing to know with the video editor here is that it's mostly additive. You cannot actually edit your video like you would in a third-party video editor. It is simply there to do everything that YouTube can do to allow you to keep a video up that may have some type of issue, whether you've included somebody in the video that you you don't have permission to, or a song is copyrighted, or you've used somebody else's content. The whole purpose of the editor is simply to give you the option to take that stuff out or fix that stuff without actually taking down the video. That's what the editor's for. If you're trying to do anything else, it's probably not going to work. The one caveat is that uh, you may be able to uh, do a very rough edit if you record everything in sequence and upload that whole raw file, you could in essence come in here and trip out, trim out all the bad parts, but that's not exactly the most effective way. But if you do want to do that, uh, I will search it down. I actually have a video. I'll put a card up on the screen so you can check that out on how to do a, a kind of a rough editing process using this. It's kind of a hack. I don't recommend it, but uh, it is an option for you out there if you have no other choice. But in here, this is where you're going to be able to add your cards. Your cards and your end screens um, are all going to be added using this section. So, and if you needed to um, cut out a section, you have that here as well. You have an option to blur out a face, uh, change up audio, add end screens, and all of those things. If you want to see a full deep dive video dedicated to the editor and how to get the most out of it, definitely let me know in the comments and I will release that video for you. For a particular video, you can click on comments and see them in here. You can reply to people. You can do some of the quick responses. Uh, give it a heart, give it a thumbs up, all those things. Uh, this is one of the places that you can interact with comments. We click over here. Subtitles, you have the option. You'll see that I have an English version published. You can add languages and uh, have your videos translated. Uh, if that is something that uh, would work uh, for you and your audience, this is where you would add the uh, transcription or closed captioning so people would be able to see those variations as well. Now, monetization. Monetization on a given video. Uh, up here is the setting of whether it's on or off. If you're monetized, this is going to be relevant. Uh, you, this, you then have the option to select what type of ads that can be run on your videos. I do think it makes sense to add uh, all of these. I don't really remove any of these. Uh, after video post roll. That's the one I, I keep undone uh, just with the idea that when they get to the end of the video, uh, I do want them to, to try to go to a next video, but uh, it's really up to you. I don't know that it matters all that much. If you wanted to, you could add that video, uh, that option as well. Uh, but I would just suggest testing it, figuring out which one works best for you, and then uh, go with that. And then copyright. This lets you know whether or not there are any copyright issues with your video. If everything is in good standing, you'll see here, channel not affected, public, on, and there are no copyrights for the video. So that is everything in that content section for a given video. Uh, looking at uh, this information, you do have the ability to kind of do some bulk uh, adding or, or adjusting things. You can get in here and make some high level changes without drilling into each one of your videos. So that can be helpful. Uh, plus, if you have a tool like TubeBuddy, uh, you can get a whole bunch of different uh, options in here as well. You can do mass uh, updates to your descriptions and things like that. You can go to try TubeBuddy.today and check out their uh, offerings. They do have a free version, plus they have some good incentives for uh, newer creators or smaller creators. Plus, you'll get a discount by using promo code DANSBUDDY. Uh, so try that out, see if it works for you. And uh, uh, it really does come in helpful when you once you start to amass some videos and you want to get in here and make changes to everything in bulk. Maybe you have a new URL or something that you need to add to all of them. And that's a great way to do that. So the content section is definitely where you're going to spend a lot of your time uh, as a YouTuber in YouTube studio. It provides a wealth of information uh, that can be helpful to you in understanding your videos, making changes to your videos, and all the things you need to do to be a successful creator. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Don't let the learning stop here. I'm going to put a video on screen now that can help you grow here on YouTube so you can create your freedom and learn how to make money doing something you enjoy.
I'll see you in the next video.